this is a Photoshop tutorial on retouching photos. Um, we're going to retouch a photo, making it black and white, and then add some highlights of color, as you can see in this picture. Um, it's a very useful tool to actually bring and pop out some detail in the image, like the car itself, um, and get rid of the um, the background. Um, so first off, I just found any photo that I wanted to use for this, so I just grabbed one off the internet. Um, and then I just uh, put it into Photoshop. So first off, we're going to open up Photoshop now. Um, so with it selected, copy image. Go file on new. It should bring out the size of the image. So it's leave it as it is. Um, now, control V or edit paste. And we will see like this. You bring it up like this, pretty much. Um, you can change it by if you have CS4, you can muck around some settings, so you can actually get rid of like go full screen, um, just so you can get rid of and actually get into the um, proper viewing format if you want. Doesn't really matter though. Um, I'm gonna bring out F7, which will bring up our layers palette. We got layer layer one as our image, and we got background. We don't really need background, so we can actually delete this layer if you want. Um, now we need to we need a duplicate of this layer, so you, you can then right click duplicate layer, or you can drag it down here into the new layer tab, which will make a new layer. Um, so now we have two layers. You can't really see it's exactly the same. We need to convert one to black and white, and leave one as color. The one underneath will be color, and one on top will be black and white. So adjustments, black and white. Make sure you got the first layer selected. And as you can see, it's gone black and white. You can muck around with some of these settings. Actually, make it more. Let's go back to normal. Just like that. So now we have one layer black and white, one layer color. So again, with a black and white layer selected. Gonna get into our razor tool. We need a, a hard brush, no matter what we're working with. So it's always gonna be hard. We're not gonna do soft. So always a hard brush. Um, a decent diameter. We have to change it at, throughout the actual picture. We can go zoom into the picture, so you actually can get um, the zoom tool here, or you can press Control Plus and Control Minus to zoom in and out. Um, so once we have this image, you can actually press spacebar on your keyboard, which will bring up the hand tool, which allows you to drag it around. So I use this quite a lot to move my image around. So I can move my image around. Release spacebar will bring you back to the brush. So now we want to start erasing away the black and white of the car. So as you can see here, it's very light. We're just going to start erasing away. The um the top layer of the black and white to reveal the bottom layer underneath f of color. This can take some time and precision. And always a good way to check that you haven't that you've done. If you think you've finished, I'll zoom out for a second. If you think you've finished the image, which I'm well, not right now, you can deselect this layer. So wrong layer. Just like that layer, and you better see how much you've actually um erased already. So we've got a lot more to erase, as you can see. Now here's another handy tip for keyboard shortcuts: using the bracket tools next to P and Enter. So you got the left bracket tool and the right bracket tool. If you click those, they will um press those. Sorry, if you they will make the brush larger and soft, uh, harder, uh, larger and smaller. Sorry. So the left will make it smaller, right will make it larger. I use these quite a lot when I'm doing stuff like this. So I can quickly change them to the right size and need, bring them down for small detail, like that. So there's another handy tip for you. So, so if you do something wrong, control Z, I'll get rid of it. This thing you got and cut out all nice finely. Best not to go over the edge. If you do go over the edge it will show you the background so it'll show like that. So you can see the background now in the 
Control Z. The black doesn't really matter too much if you don't get that. I generally leave some of the black out because it's not too important. Um, it's more about the actual parts where it actually will be in colour because when, when do you change black back into colour it's still going to be black anyway. That's more of the whitish areas that were colour originally. This doesn't have to be done too precise, long, as long as you get the general parts, especially the white parts, you'll be fine. So there you go. You see, as I said, you can't really tell down at these areas here. So like I said, it doesn't really matter too much if you don't get rid of them. Um, now, people leave like this. I reckon take it a step further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this background layer more saturated and more vibrant to give it more of a bang and more of a, a glow to it. So, oops, oops. With CS4, sorry, you can have this new thing called vibrance. This can be quite handy with this part. You can bump up the saturation to full and some vibrance. Well, it's overkill, but yeah, you know what I mean. Vibrance, it's, it's similar to saturation, but what vibrance does, it fills in to, um, it fills in equally. As saturation just boosts everything up at one time, so vibrance will equally boost um, each color, so it's nice and even. Um, so just want to get it a nice colour between the two. Like there, that's, that's pretty good, I, I, I reckon. If you can zoom out, I can definitely see the colour of the car now. Yeah. Um, we can also make this further, so we can make it blurry. It's the, the background layer is already a bit blurry because of the speed of the shot. Um, we can actually make it more blurry, so selecting the, the black and white layer. We can go filter, blur, we have a blur or Gaussian blur, so we're just going to blur that. Normal. We can do it again. Control F. Let's keep on Control F, 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 F. Like that. Or, go Gaussian blur, and actually see. Like that. We can make it more. Less. So roughly about there, I reckon that's good. And there's some fine detail around here. That can be done more. You can go along and just erase that. So make it more of a crisp. Because right now it's still showing a tiny bit of the car. All the white areas. And you can go ahead and crop it to the size you want, so crop it. Nice landscape portrait is good. Not <laughs> oxymoron, not landscape portrait, it's a nice landscape shot will be um good. Go ahead and save it. And then JPEG normally. Image 2, call it whatever you want, it's going to call it image 2, that's quite right. You can nice boost it quite high for viewing. And there we go guys. So thanks for watching. If you want some more videos on retouching or just general Photoshop tutorials, even I have I'm doing some tutorials on Flash and Dreamweaver soon. Um just pop in the email through the email in the description to request them or send me a message through the um YouTube account. So yeah, thanks guys, subscribe, rate and comment please. See you later.